Good morning, Rami. And good morning, farmers. Back here on the farm. The push for the end of the season is coming. Or not, I should say it's coming. It's here. And, um, yeah, just go around checking out, see if they've got any honey. And with no flowers, probably won't have any honey at all. What happened to you on the Lumberjacks Dynasty, dude? Where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some issues on Lumberjacks Dynasty. We will talk about a little bit about that today. Um, I'm going to try to stay kind of focused on this game right here. But uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you who watch, uh, been watching Farmers Dynasty have been keeping track of Lumberjacks Dynasty, what's going on there. So yeah, we'll probably touch on that a little bit. It's kind of hard not to because the games are pretty similar. So yeah, we'll, we'll dive into that. But first things first, I want to check on the honey. Uh, all of our workers are up in new fields. We got four workers up there. A couple of them are almost done. Um, how to think of it? Uh, old Wheatford. Yeah, we're done in Old Wheatford. Uh, all those fields are plowed, uh, cultivated, and seeded. I do need to hire the crop plane at some point. <laughs> I don't know when I'll get to it. I, I may just wait until I get I get uh, all the fields seeded everywhere, and then go nuts on, on uh, fertilizing everything. Can I jump into my tractor? My favorite tractor. Uh, what's the status of the fields here? Is this one... Uh, this one's plowed, not cultivated. Yeah, so I'm plowing and not cultivating, right? Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. I think I'll start the morning off with... Uh, how about some cultivating? That seems, sounds like uh, a good plan, doesn't it? I think my cultivator is going to be... Over here. Yeah, this has not been cultivated. No, okay. I think I brought my cultivator up, did I not? I thought I parked it over here. I probably should have checked before I started recording. That would have been kind of a smart thing to do. What the heck did I do with my cultivator? Did I not bring it up here? Uh, those are the old seed rules. Uh, Alright, uh, can I jump into that tractor here? Did I, did I leave it here? I could have swore I brought it on up. Um... I think it's up there somewhere. Oh, man. I, I need to drive around. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. I found it. I did bring it up. I just didn't put it in the field I thought it was in. Oh, yeah. So, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to start the day cultivating. Uh, we plowed this field late last night, right? Yeah, it's plowed. Um, where is... Where, where is it? Where is it? He parked it somewhere. Over here. I see it now. Never park green machinery in a green field. <laughs> it kind of blends right in. Oh, man. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay, back up. There we go. Well, since we're at this field here, why not start in this field right here? Lower it down, please. And away we go. Uh, what day is it here? The 14th. Oh, I got it. Jeez. We're, we're like halfway through the month. I got halfway to go. Yeah, we, we should have no problem whatsoever. Our workers are doing a fantastic job. Hopefully, they can get some work done. Uh, maybe get new fields kind of done today. And I think uh, the first couple workers that get done, I may send them on down to Peaksville, way on the east side of the map. Get those big fields done. There's only like five fields there. I actually may have a couple fields there that have not been plowed or cultivated. I may have. When I mean small, I mean really, really small. Is that Oliver? Oliver, how you doing? Um, yeah, so Lumberjack's Dynasty. Uh, this is the first episode I recorded of Farmer's Dynasty after Lumberjack's Dynasty has been released. And uh, as for the game, uh, whew, man, I'm having flashbacks when Farmer's Dynasty came out. Uh, I kind of expected a little bit more of a polished game <laughs> when it got... I, I realized, yes, I know it's early access for Lumberjack's Dynasty, but man, I expected a little bit more of a polished game when it came out. Uh, they're having some issues as you kind of expect in early access, but the issues that they're having kind of surprising because you would think if it works in Farmer's Dynasty, some of the things that they're using in Lumberjack's Dynasty would work. Like the animals, um, yeah, the animals apparently don't work, so they took that out of the game. Uh, I don't know how they wouldn't work. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they work in Farmer's Dynasty, so there must be some coding mixing up there. I don't know. Um, yeah, just a, just a few uh, problems on that game right now. The price is good. I mean, I, I would suggest if you're looking to buy Lumberjacks, you want to play Lumberjacks Dynasty, 
Right now probably is the best time to buy. I think it's still on sale. I can't remember. I haven't looked in a while. I haven't looked since it got uh, released last week. But uh, I think uh, last week when it came out, it was like seventeen ninety nine US dollars. It's on sale for a while. So I would suggest if it's a game you know you are going to play, uh, buy it now. Um, as for playing it, ooh, uh, if you're used to early access games, uh, then then you're <laughs> you're fine. Uh, if if you get aggravated because your tractor gets stuck or things don't work properly and it aggravates you, you may want to hold off onto it for a while. There's a there's a few things. Um, I'm on episode five. I think episode five came out yesterday. So, and I, and I don't want to say I'm stuck at a crossroad because I have no cash at the moment. But as for quest and doing things, it's a little slow going at first. But yeah, there's a good like five or six hours of gameplay in there. I know some people have gone nonstop and they're skipping weeks. I, if you want to do that too, that's, that's you know, play the game the way you want to. But um, yeah, you could do that and it'll definitely help out the process of drawing those planks. Uh, that does take a while, and you can earn cash, you know, that way by sleeping a week at a time. I like playing day by day when the game first comes out, and see where it, just see where it takes me. Although I may have to skip a week at a time just to get those planks dried so I get some cash. But yeah, I've seen some pictures of people have already got their sawmill. They've already got all the new planks and everything done. They're painting it and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, it, it's I think the game just needs a lot of tweaking to start with. And then, uh, you know, people are getting their, their vehicles stuck in weird places. Uh, yeah, we, I remember those days early on in Farmer's Dynasty as well. So, those are just some things I didn't think. But it is a, it is a brand new map. So, they didn't just, like, take take this map and blend it on over. I do like the things they kind of came along and did with the logs. Uh, dropping the logs in a river. And, a lot, and the river takes the logs to your sawmill. Um, just one thing is the logs kind of go both directions on the river. So it's like, the, it's like the, the flow of a river doesn't really matter. But, uh, that's all I really want to say about Lumberjack Science. You know, I just want to bring up this a little bit because maybe some people have not, uh, watched any of the videos yet. And maybe they didn't even know it even came out, but, uh, it's out there. Uh, check the channel and you can definitely find, um, like I said, I got five episodes going already and plenty more to come along. Uh, but we're not giving up on Farmer's Dynasty because, yeah, we got this uh, this fall, um, I don't want to call it harvest, uh, fall planting that we need to do. Need to get this all set so when spring comes we'll have a whole bunch of canola. A whole bunch of canola and a whole bunch of cash, too. Uh, <laughs> we plan to have a whole bunch of cash. Am I still over 5 million here? Yes, I am. I kind of forgot. Hopefully we're still at 5 million when we get all done planting the fields and... Fertilizing the fields. I almost said uh, plowing the fields. I don't know why. I just got one more field to plow. That's the one right there behind us. And uh, yeah, then I got to cultivate all four, but we're getting this one done here. And then um, eventually we'll get the seeding as well. And we do have at some point, looking forward to the DLC coming to Farmer's Dynasty for, I, I would just call it the root crop DLC, I suppose, being potatoes and turnips. Yeah correct yeah i think that's correct so yeah when that comes out hopefully um we can showcase it on this channel as well see what it entails i i'm just kind of curious are they going to give us any kind of uh silo to put that kind of crop in be kind of interesting but uh, comparing the games farmer's dynasty to lumberjack's dynasty it is uh i've seen where they took some of the ideas that we may had for this game and kind of put it to that game I'm kind of glad that in Lumberjack's Dynasty there actually is a barn or a garage, you can say, to actually park some vehicles in. A four, it's like a four, a four bay garage. So it's going to be pretty interesting. I can't wait to, for the game to see. Uh, there, it seems like there's updates like almost every day now, so I'm pretty sure they're trying to work on the bugs that they have right now. Get them all taken care of. Uh, if you didn't watch yesterday's episode, I think that would be, yeah, yesterday's episode, I found it kind of funny. Um, I, I pretty much got free logs, if you, <laughs> I, I don't think that's supposed to be part of the game, so, but I, once I noticed I could take it, I better take those before they patch that, or, or whatever, but I'm like, I'm taking those logs. Uh, but it is great, I do, I, I'm liking the way the direction Lumberjack's Dynasty is going. 
Uh, I like the potential it has. Um, like I said, I think early on in Farmer's Dynasty, we talked about being able to fix our own vehicles. Uh, for some reason, Farmer's Dynasty does not have that. Uh, should I say does not have that yet or doesn't have it at all? I don't know if it will come here or not. But it looks like Lumberjack's Dynasty will have to where we can fix things. It seems like there's a, a level and repair on that game. So kind of interesting. You would think that they could implement, if, if it's on one game, you think they could implement it on the other game. And vice versa, just because it's kind of like the same footprint. I mean, here we're farming, and over there we're we're farming logs. Anyways, how are we doing on this field here? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, my job for, at least today, is to get this field cultivated and get that field across the way plowed. I can bring the plow back to the farm, park it on up. And then it's just going to be a matter of cultivating those three fields. Hopefully within four or five in-game days, we'll have these uh, these four fields right here that were had peas in them a little while ago. Oh, that does remind me. I need to keep checking the price of lupine. Uh, 760 I don't know what I'm looking at the prices for because I don't know what good or bad prices are anymore. Because <laughs> I got too many games going and it's get confusing once in a while. Of what's a good price, what's a bad price. I know we got uh, like 50,000 kilograms of lupine sitting back at the farm. So at some point we'll have to go ahead and I can sell that and make a decent profit at some point. If it comes to the end of the season and we're not above 5 million, I still got lupine. I may sell it just to get above 5 million. And also at some point I need to barge into the kitchen while the food we got in the pantry, make some dishes, go up and see Rose and see how much money I can get from her. Yeah, but our goal is just to keep above $5 million by the end of the season, which I think is possible at this point. And it was all made possible because I kind of forgot we had all those peas down there at the old mill. Down in Old Wheatford in that silo. That brought in a whole bunch of cash. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that, that's going to make it a lot more easier to stay above $5 million. Since I did such a good job on the first field and got done rather quickly... I said, well, there's a small field right across the way. Let's go ahead and get that done. It was still morning. It just turned noon, and I'm just about done with this small field anyways. I have also taken care of a couple workers up in new fields. Uh, hired another worker for a field up there, and then I sent another one down to Peaksville to start working down there because it seemed like they were getting kind of clustered. And I hate hiring my help being that close together because who knows what would happen if they both uh, get done the job at the same time and go out the field and they both try to despawn in the same area, I don't know what will happen, so I try to avoid that <laughs> as much as I can. I mean, the odds are probably like being struck by lightning, but, you know, who knows? Uh, so anyways, yeah, uh, taking care of that. We're just about done here. I'm getting ready to drop off this cultivator. I'm going to drop it off in an area like on a road so I can find it easier next time. Uh, since I'm only doing one episode a week, the time I re you know come back in a week l later to record, I'm like where's that cultivator? Yeah, because uh, this morning I you know I brought this cultivator up a couple episodes ago and, and parked it there. I'm like I know I brought it up, just where did I put it up here? And I always say remember where you keep your toys, kids. And um, I've been doing a terrible job at that lately, so I'll try to remember where I left. I'm gonna leave it like right in that paved road. No cars go up there. The only one that goes up there is me. When it's time to go up to the store to sell things, but I really don't have anything to sell other than the lupine that we have in the silo. Unless there's a... I guess I'm going to look for like $900 for lupine. I think that might be stretching it a little bit. But, you know, I'm, I'm in no rush to sell. I don't sound like I need the cash. As I run over the scarecrow. The magical scarecrow. Hello, Victoria. Alright, so let's go park up the cultivator and pick up our magical plow. Uh, before I start plowing, I will double check the workers just to make sure. I'm pretty sure the one in Peaksville, he's not going to be done for a while. Did I get this field done 100%? Yeah, some reason I only got the other field done 99% done. Uh, I didn't know where the other 1% was. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm at the stage. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, let's lower that down. Drop that off and then I jump in cab here. 
I am getting a little bit low on fuel on this thing. Can I not? I never drive in cab that often, but I just realized I can't turn around and look behind me. Uh, so that's kind of disturbing a little bit. All right, let's hitch that up and let's rotate the plow. And while that's rotating, let me just double check. Oh, only two workers there and one down here. So um, that's got canola in it. That's got canola in it. That does not. That does. That does. All right, so it looks like I'm down to one field up here left after those two get done. So, I'm going to take this second worker, bring him on, and I jumped into my harvester. That happens. Uh, I'll, bring, I'll come on down here, give this guy someone to look at when he's, uh, when he's working down. So, he doesn't feel all alone. So, $4,100 to sew with canola. That, I'm fine with that. I just hired a worker. Now, I need to jump back up to my tractor. There we go. And I want to zoom on out, please. There we go. And then lower the plow. And get back to work. Yeah, what am I doing on fuel? 32%. I mean, that's... That's fine. Uh, but probably after today, I should go down to the barn. And maybe top it off. Because it's getting us a little bit on the low side. I don't think I can uh, finish plow. I don't think I can plow this whole field and then cultivate this field and that one before I go back. But the good thing is I got I got to bring the plow back anyway. So after I get done plowing this field, like I said, I'm going to bring the plow back to the main farm, put it in our parking lot because I'm done with it for the year, and then I can top off the tractor with some fuel. And I'm thinking about repainting the tractor. I think I painted this orange, like I said, when it was fall, and here we are. Uh, we're in the month of May, so I think it's. In real life, we're in the month of May. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's time just to change up the color once again. Um, you know, I'm thinking springtime. You know, I was thinking some kind of green, but I'm thinking uh, like a sky blue or something like that. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I'll just, you know how I do? I'll just grab the bars, swing them around everywhere, and it'll, it'll come on some, like, weird-looking color, and everybody will be like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, yeah, that's the one we're going with. Why would you? Have some fun with it. It's not like this is actually a, it's kind of a branded tractor, but it's not a branded tractor in Farmer's Dynasty. So, yeah, changing the colors up. I know some people get upset that in Farming Simulator. I do run mods, as you probably know if you watch the series. And, like, uh, the couple of my series, my New Holland, which is usually a blue color, I kind of painted it green, and a couple people hate it. I'm like, you got it as a, you know, you painted John Deere colors. Well, technically, it's not John Deere color. Uh, it was like just like a lime greenish color. Some people like to keep it as authentic as possible. But me, I kind of like to mix up the colors just to make it feel like I bought a different vehicle and looks different. But this is the tractor I'm using the most. Uh, I, it'd be kind of interesting if they had an hour meter on the tractor to see how many hours you're putting on the vehicles. Because this one right here, I'm sure, is climbing the charts pretty darn quick. And probably the set, the tractor I use the probably the most right now is one I don't even use. It's parked. I have no idea where it's even parked. Uh, the first new tractor that we bought. I have no idea where that tractor even is. Probably parked at one of the greenhouses so I can teleport to it. But it shouldn't take me too long. I know I'm extremely hungry, but it's like, you know what? I'm skipping lunch today. Just going to skip on lunch and uh, go right straight through dinner. Let all my workers do all the work as much as they can today. I may just go down and bug the wife for the rest of the day after I get done plowing this field. Because like I said, we got 15 more days to get all these fields taken care of and that's more than enough time. With all the fields that we have, I can probably... Just spend one day hiring planes to fertilize. Because I think I've, I've kind of made it my mind when I was cultivating those fields over there. I think we're just going to go ahead and seed all the fields and then we'll fertilize them all together. That way I'm not in a mixture of what fields have I fertilized, which ones I haven't. 
So we're just I'm just on a boat now, just like get all the canola in the ground, and then we'll worry later on about getting the fertilizer on top of the fields. So that's kind of my plan, and I think it'll just take, like I said, one day just sitting there, hiring worker, hiring worker, hiring four four planes at a time. The sky is going to be filled with uh, little prop planes going back and forth, fertilizing our fields. So basically it gives me about, we'll just say, two weeks in game time to get all the fields seeded, which is not much of an issue at all. Like I said, we got about 50 fields, and I think we've got probably 15 to 16 fields already seeded. And that's, it. that's like in three days' time, three or four days' time, maybe more than that, actually. But we're getting the bigger ones done first. So the process should pick up a little bit quicker. Just like my process is going to speed up pretty fast here because I think it's time that uh, maybe we just turn on some tunes, uh, speed up the process. But like I said, we're, well, geez, I'm already 30% done. So you get to see like the other, we'll say 65%. In fast speed, so I'll see you for like the last five percent or whatever the field is. I got to plow, uh, but enjoy the time lapse. during the time lapse I am really hungry really really hungry but we're just about done here and I'll eat afterwards I mean I, I mean I mean eat at all I might as well just like sleep through the night and just eat first thing in the morning uh, I could do that that way I'm all set to go for tomorrow I never usually try to eat before I go to bed because uh, then I feel like I'm just wasting food through the night if that makes sense I was checking on the fuel down to 23%, which is still quite a bit amount of fuel, but like I said, since we're going to bring the plow back anyways, um, I haven't checked in a while how my worker's doing. All right, uh, what field was it? So it's this, this field here. Another 1100 bucks out the window, kind of. I'll get it back next spring. So let me just double check. Let's see, canola, canola, canola. Just I got to double check everything because I had a little problem in this... <laughs> um, when we were plowing and cultivating, I, I missed a couple fields I thought I had done. Alright, so yeah, once these workers get done here, we're all set in new fields. Uh, I got these two, two wonderful workers down here, 29% done, 68% done. So, I'm probably done hiring workers for today. What time is it? It's almost 5 o'clock. The good news is, the weather for like the next week is going to be just like ideal. I mean, it's like probably no rain. Actually, I don't think there's hardly any clouds. I think most of the days are just pure sunny. 
purely sunny. But I think what we'll do is, like I said, we're going to bring the plow back to the farm because we're done with it. Uh, we're going to fuel up the tractor, uh, repaint it, just because... And I am going to park it next to the seed drill. Just to remind myself when I come back up with the tractor to bring the seed drill on up because we'll probably be seeding next uh, in next week's episode. I just got uh, these two fields to cultivate, so we'll probably cultivate one of the fields and then start seeding these uh, four fields up here. Let's skip across the road before the traffic comes. Zip on around. So that feels ready to be seeded, so is that one on the other side, and the two across the street, well, they're plowed, just need to be cultivated. So not a bad day here, got two fields cultivated and one field, the last field plowed. Uh, the workers are doing a fantastic job, doing this, you know, as fast as they can. Like I said, we got like 15 of the 50 fields that we have uh, pretty much seeded, so making progress. As for all the food that was, uh, the crops that were growing in the greenhouse, they're probably all gone because that's been, it's been a couple months. Just waiting for the deer to get out of the way so I can go ahead and put my plow back where we always park it. You can kind of tell where I usually do park it, right? Let's go ahead and lower it down. Nope, wrong button. Wrong game. Uh, and drop it off. Yes, I know I'm hungry, but I'm not going to bother eating. I'll wait until tomorrow, next in-game day, we'll go ahead and have a bite to eat. Just got to watch out for my wife. She might be around here somewhere. Don't have to worry about poor old Rex. Looks like he's going to be stuck forever down at the fireplace. All right, let's go ahead and enter. Um, we will refuel. We will wash. And let's get rid of the red here. That looks really dark blue, doesn't it? Of course, I'm in, I'm in the shade as well, so that doesn't help. You know what? That's I kind of. It's not a light. It's not a sky blue, light blue, but it's kind of like a. Hmm. I just want to wait until I get in the sunlight before I, I say anything about it. Uh, turquoise? Is that the is that the color I'm looking for? I think it might be turquoise. <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually seen turquoise, so I think it might be that. Anyways, let's back up to the seed drill so I know... The re re it will remind me to grab it. I don't think there's anything in this... There better not be anything in the seed drill. I usually do empty it. Yeah, it says... It doesn't say there's anything in there. Uh, yeah, my food's down to zero, sleep down to 37. It's 5.30 in the evening, so I think my work around here is done. Uh, I am just going to go talk to the wife because I really don't remember the last time we talked to her. Although, I think I can go without talking to her for a while. I don't think um, it'd be much of a problem because she loves me that much. Uh, just make sure James is happy. He is. Timmy's always seems ha uh, very happy. Hi, just sugar. Gonna, just going to give her a compliment. Hello, darling. You look so good, it almost makes me speechless. Yeah, yeah. After five years, I don't think we tell her. It is so nice to hear. Thank you. After five years of marriage, she probably looks at you like, um, well, all right, whatever. Uh, you, you could mow the lawn, though. I, I, know, I know you're out here. I see you pulling weeds and stuff. But at some point, you got to learn how to mow the lawn. And all of our withered flowers. Uh, but that happens. So on down to Lisa the fireplace, at least I'll regain some sleep, not that I need to. But uh, gotta go down and at least see Rex. Make sure, make sure he's still doing okay. Yeah, he's down here taking a nap. I think he likes to fire just as much as I do. Maybe he maybe he stays here because he knows I come here at the end of my work day. Um, let me go ahead and sit here. But that is gonna wrap up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here on the day in the farm. But until then, have a good one. Yeah, give me some money and uh, increase my social points. Thank you, solar panels.